Water is at the center of life on Maryland's Smith Island. Three tiny villages making up one small community living off the bounty of the water that surrounds them. It's hard to beat the people, the place, the uniqueness, the quiet. quiet. It's not for everybody, we know that. And indeed, few Marylanders ever make the journey over the Bay Bridge all the way south to Crisfield, taking an hour's ferry ride out into the Chesapeake, the only way to reach Smith Island. But on this day, a crowd of politicians, state workers, most for the first time, are taking the trip to celebrate with the people of this tiny archipelago. Their families have been here for centuries. This is a way of life. Uh, this is something that we really ought to preserve as part of Maryland's heritage. We're here to celebrate the resilience of the community. Uh, we're here in particular to celebrate a shoreline restoration project. That Army Corps of Engineers project, almost two years in the making, includes hundreds of feet of jetties that now open the channel for watermen, reconstructed shoreline, and salt marshes. We're creating four and a half acres of wetlands as uh, a benefit to this project. It's being protected by offshore breakwaters. Any Smith Islander will tell you the water that gives life can also make it hard to live. The Army Corps of Engineers says before it began its work, the island was eroding up to nine feet a year. People who live here will tell you it regularly floods right up to their doorways. But when I was a kid, it hardly ever happened. Now it's all the time. Kim Evans grew up on Smith Island and wouldn't have had it any other way. Living here, it was a ton of freedom go what we call mudlarking, just walking through the mud in our bare feet. But he and others we talked to are worried about nature's effect on the island's future. Now I'll say about uh, 65, 70 percent of, of the year we have high tides over here and I mean these roads are covered. Abandoned structures dot the island with only about 900 habitable acres left for the less than 200 souls who call it home. We're not sinking, we're eroding. Sorry about it. Maxine and the other ladies cooking for today's celebration echo a word you'll hear often on Smith Island, erosion. People here say they're fighting erosion. And there is erosion. But some scientists see a larger problem. It's a combination of factors. The water's rising in the Chesapeake Bay. Um, that water's being sort of retained in the, in the region. It's staying in the region and also the land is sinking and erosion's happening. So all of these forces combined um, mean that unless we put up seawalls or unless we create living shorelines or more, to, more natural barriers to the water, this water will continue to come in. Whatever the cause, on this day, Smith Islanders are giving thanks for the latest effort to save their traditions and their way of life. What my family does, we crowd. Some people think it's dirty, they don't want to do it, they'll get germs, get sick. If you know what you're doing, though, you won't. Aiden loves to crab and oyster. He and less than 10 other children attend the island's only school. The key to walking in the marsh, step on the grass. The older students ferry to Crisfield every day. Smith Islanders are resilient. We are. We're one big family. That's what we are. Because when one's in trouble, we're all in trouble. And if somebody needs help, we all help. We see Tyler Evans Evans Bradshaw. Some Smith Islanders can trace their families back to the 1680s. It's Tyler again. When John Evans, Tyler Evans. and John Evans were the first to arrive and stay. So this is downtown Ewell. You this have a Ewell. store. A restaurant and a church. Yeah. That's and about it. And a gas station. And a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> and that's about it. A small community determined to fight, adapt, and remain. I go to bed comfortable every night knowing that I'm just as safe here as I am in a lot of other places. It, it doesn't worry me. A hundred men couldn't get me off this island. <laughs> because this, this is basically my life. And you love it? Yes.